The Salton Sea is California's largest lake, and in many ways, it's an ecological marvel. So when you look at the shore of the Salton Sea, you might see what looks like sand along the coast. But what it really is, is not sand, but the shells of animals, barnacles in this case. Agricultural runoff and evaporation have teamed up to make this shallow body of water much saltier than the ocean. Tom Anderson surveys the lake from a vantage point near Red Hill Bay. Salton Sea is shrinking, and this is a parcel of land, it's about 500 acres that used to be part of the Salton Sea. Anderson says it's been years since the lake threatened to flood nearby farmland. The sea has receded. Uh, it's dropped about four feet in the last 10 years. And this is no longer wet. It used to be great shorebird habitat. There'd be shallow water all the way across. The sea is shrinking because there is less water flowing in. Less water means wide swaths of dry lake bed are being exposed to the air. So this was dry playa. We drove across it at one point, and then on a windy day, the the winds pushed the Salton Sea back up onto this playa and flooded some of the low areas, including these tire tracks. And when that water evaporated, it left behind the salts and minerals. And this provides an example of just how salty the Salton Sea is. The playa is crusty as it dries. Anderson sweeps his foot across it. It's like billowing clouds of that fine material off the playa. There's plenty of wind here to pick up that dust. Imperial County already has the highest childhood asthma rates in California. And officials worry the new dust will make that problem worse. Here at Red Hill Bay, about 500 acres of dry playa will be flooded to control the dust. But the problem is much bigger. So we've seen about, probably about 13,000 acres of shoreline exposed over the last 10, 12 years. And it's pretty dramatic if you go out there on the southern portion of the sea where it's shallow. Tina Shields is a water manager for the Imperial Irrigation District. The public utility controls both power and water in this desert valley. She says the Salton Sea has always had its issues. The sea has always had its challenges because it's an inland body of water. It has no fresh water source. Our drainage and, and the runoff from the cities and stormwater supports the sea. So it's had a constant challenge with increasing salinity. Shield says the region has been thirsting for a solution to the lake's woes for years. And the countdown began in earnest just over a decade ago. That's when California agreed to restore the Salton Sea as part of a deal to urge the Imperial Irrigation District to sign on to a sweeping multi-state water sharing contract. That agreement created a pathway for the district to sell water to urban areas. Every acre foot of water that's conserved and transferred to either San Diego or Coachella is an acre foot of water that's removed from the Salton Sea. So we've been providing mitigation flows since 2003 in an amount intended to equalize the salinity level. But those mitigation flows stop at the end of next year, and water shipments to urban areas are ramping up at the same time. Shield says computer models estimate some 75,000 acres of playa will be exposed over the next three decades. California finally put $80 million for salt and sea restoration work into the state budget this year. Bruce Wilcox works for the California Natural Resources Agency. He concedes that's little more than a starting point. It would have been a much easier process if we would have started earlier. But moving forward, we can construct this habitat. We've got the money to construct some of it right now. We'll get more funding moving forward. That state commitment is crucial, and the multi-billion dollar restoration effort will have to ramp up quickly. Wilcox says there's more at stake than the health of the Imperial Valley. If we're not successful at the Salton Sea, and again, I think we will be, but if we're not, that certainly would put, uh, put a red flag up for future water transfers and might even impact this water transfer. Tom Anderson, who's worked at the Salton Sea for 15 years, says change is coming quickly. Lake levels are sinking an inch or two a year, but that could jump to a foot a year. Because the shoreline is so gradual, yeah, one foot can, in certain areas, it could be a, a really uh, wide expanse of shoreline that's exposed, yeah. Anderson worries the state may not be able to move quickly enough to stave off a crisis. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.